Okay, we're back with um, an incomplete review of Unit H, Harmonic Motion, Part 3. All right, so we have here... A, um, an object that's going to move back and forth in harmonic motion, simple harmonic motion, with um, um, an amplitude of A. This is, the or, this is the equilibrium, and here are the two endpoints. Okay, the regions that I want you to use for your answers are either 1, which is the furthest away in the negative direction, 2, somewhere intermediate between the furthest away and the, the equilibrium, 3, is at, at the equilibrium, Four is somewhere between the equilibrium and the maximum positive position, and five is at the positive position. Okay, can you tell me uh, where the object is going to have um, the, its maximum positive speed? Where will it have its maximum positive speed? Which of these numbers? Okay, it is three. That's where the spring will be completely unstretched, so there'll be no elastic potential energy, so all the energy will be in the form of kinetic. Okay, could you tell me where the object will have its biggest acceleration that's positive? Its biggest positive acceleration? Where will it have its biggest positive acceleration? Okay, that will be at um, 1. At 1... The spring is crunched up and it's trying to restore it to its equilibrium position, so it's pushing that way. So it's going to actually have its biggest positive acceleration. Okay, can you tell me in which region the object is going to have a positive velocity, a positive V, but a negative A? Where will it have a positive V, but a negative A? In which location? All right. Well, it's going to be it's going to be to have a positive v, it needs to be moving this way. So it can't be at um it can't be at this location cuz it's not moving. Can't be at this location cuz it's not moving. Um it doesn't have any acceleration at 3. And so if it has no acceleration at 3, it's got to be one of these two. Now, um, in this region, it only has positive acceleration. In this region, it only has negative acceleration. So it's region 4. The, the spring is pulling it back toward the equilibrium. Okay, can you tell me um, where the object will have a negative velocity and a negative acceleration? Where will it have a negative velocity and a negative acceleration? Okay, it turns out it's also 4. Now, if it's this one, for this situation, a positive velocity and a negative acceleration, that means the object is moving this way. Put some motion marks there. It's moving that way. That's positive velocity, but the but it's be it's slowing down. The spring is pulling back, and it's slowing down. So that would be this one. For this guy, then the velocity is this way, the motion marks, it's heading that way, and it's accelerating that way. So do you remember that when this is the case, it's speeding up, speeding up, that's slowing down. When these have opposite signs, that means it's slowing down. Okay, lastly, can you tell me um, where the object has um, an acceleration that is equal to zero? That is at 3. And how about where does the object have um, a negative velocity and a positive acceleration? Hey, to have a negative velocity and a positive acceleration, again, means the object is slowing down. But to have a positive acceleration... It must be in this territory. And so that's going to be, that is going to be um, number two. So let me show you that. That means it has to be heading this way. But it's, but the spring is crunched up at this point and it's pushing it back to equilibrium. So it's actually accelerating that way.
All right. Moving right along here. We got these systems. This is a simple pendulum swinging back and forth. Here's a mass and a spring. Here's a physical pendulum. And here's another mass and a spring that's oscillating vertically. Um, these all have the same mass. And um, the K's are the same. And the L's are the same. Okay. So um, question one. Um, of two and four, looking at two and four, which one of them, if they have the same mass and the same K, which one has the greater period? Will, will system two have the greater period or system four? This is a frictionless surface. The answer is that they'll have the same period. Uh, because of um, if you look at in the book or on a on a previous YouTube, you'll see that I it's the, I think one of the last in the session, one of the, the like H ten or H eleven. You'll see that um, these two I I show um, the reason why these two have the same period. Okay, um, let's see. If I went to um, another planet that had a much a much smaller gravitational field around it, a much smaller gravitational field, which of these systems would have its period affected? Which of these systems would actually have its period affected? Okay, the answer is going to be systems 1 and 3. 2 and 4 won't have their periods affected. That's because uh, the period of a simple pendulum is 2 pi times the square root of L over G. Whereas this, and same with 4, is 2 pi times the square root of M over K. Notice that, notice that the um, period has nothing to do with G for the planet, whereas the period of a simple pendulum definitely has something to do with G. How about number 3? That's 2 pi times the square root of I over MGD. So there's a G in there. So yes, that should depend on the planet that it's on also. Okay. Uh, if I quadruple the length of this, if I quadruple the length of this string, what does that do to the period? Okay, if I quadruple the length, that's like putting a 4 right here. So that's in within the square root, so it makes it twice. It's going to make it 2t. If the original was t, it's going to make it 2t. It's going to make it double. Okay. Uh, next one. What would happen if I cut this spring in half and hung it up on just one of the halves? So I take and I, I cut this in half, and I hang it up there. What will happen to the period of this thing? Go ahead and see if you can figure it out. Okay, well, if I cut this in half, that means the same force will only cause half the extension. That's because there's half the coils. So the coils will spread out the same as before, but there's only half of them. And so that means that um, K is equal to F over X, and since since um, the same force only gives you half the extension, because there's only half the coils, that means K goes up by 2. If K goes up by 2, then that means I need to put a 2 here. If I put a 2 there, that means that the period, the new period, will equal the old period over the square root of 2. See how that works? Okay, as it turns out, we are going to need a fourth video. So the fourth video won't be as long as the other three. All right, see you in the fourth one.